The Kansas City Chiefs victory over the Los Angeles Chargers on Sunday should have been a moment of celebration, but the triumph was clouded by a significant setback. The high-flying offense, led by Patrick Mahomes, took another hit, as injuries continue to plague the team in the early stages of the 2024 season. With crucial matchups ahead, the Chiefs are now dealing with the possibility of losing a key player for the rest of the year. Rashi Rice, the dynamic wide receiver who has quickly become one of Mahomes' most trusted targets, was taken off the field in a chilling moment during the second quarter. It wasn't a routine play that sidelined Rice, it was an unfortunate collision with none other than Mahomes himself. While scrambling to recover a Chargers fumble, Mahomes inadvertently crashed into Rice's knee, immediately raising concerns about the severity of the injury. Head coach Andy Reid provided a grim update during halftime, describing the situation as not good, setting the tone for what would come. As Chiefs fans anxiously awaited news, it became clear that Rice's injury was serious. His contributions this season, highlighted by explosive plays and growing chemistry with Mahomes, made the potential loss even more painful for Kansas City. By Sunday evening, reports started to circulate about the extent of the injury. ESPN's Adam Schefter soon delivered the sobering news. Initial tests suggested Rice had torn his ACL, a season-ending injury that could leave the Chiefs offense scrambling for answers. While additional tests were planned to confirm the diagnosis, the outlook remained bleak. Rice's potential ACL tier would mark a critical blow to a team already dealing with an injury-riddled roster. Earlier this season, Kansas City lost wide receiver Hollywood Brown and running back Isaiah Pacheco to long-term injuries. Now, with Rice potentially joining them on the sidelines, the Chiefs are running dangerously low on offensive firepower as they attempt to defend their Super Bowl crown. When asked about Rice, Mahomes remained cautiously optimistic but acknowledged the difficult road ahead. We'll see what happens with Rashid, Mahomes said. Hopefully we can get him back at some point this season, but if not, other guys gotta step up. That's what football is about. That next man up mentality will be put to the test, especially with rookie wideout Xavier Worthy emerging as a potential option to fill the void. Worthy's three receptions for 73 yards and a touchdown against the Chargers gave a glimmer of hope for the Chiefs' offense moving forward. But the pressure on him and the entire receiving core is about to intensify. Rice's absence would also force Kansas City to reassess their offensive strategy. Mahomes, known for spreading the ball around, will need to further rely on players like Worthy, Marquez Valdez-Scantling, and Travis Kelsey, who may see an even larger share of the workload. With upcoming games against top-tier defenses, the Chiefs' ability to adapt without one of their rising stars will be crucial to their success. For now, the team and its fans can only wait for the final confirmation on Rice's diagnosis. The loss of a player with his explosiveness and versatility will undoubtedly sting, but the Chiefs have weathered storms before. Whether Rice returns this season or the team moves forward without him, Kansas City's championship aspirations are still alive, albeit a little more fragile than they were before Sunday. <laughs>